Well, Munch, of course, has many great works of art, but perhaps the most important is the scream, at least in terms of its iconic significance to a large audience. And in fact, we have three representations of the scream, all works on paper, because of course it was impossible to borrow uh, the scream itself because it's missing. For us, the opportunity was to go beyond the scream, in a sense, to see this exhibition as a way of reflecting the breadth, the richness, the importance of Munch's career. And sometimes when an artist is represented by a single iconic work, they get stereotyped very quickly. And Munch is a much more complex, much more nuanced artist than that. And a great deal of that has to do with sexuality, it has to do with death, it has to do with despair and anxiety, but it also has to do in many ways with the complexity of living in the 20th century. And that's something that his work never ceased to explore. It was, after all, a very angst-ridden time f with the First World War literally traumatizing all of Europe. Munch was not an artist who expressed the joys of life, but rather the difficulties of life. And I think that's one of the reasons he's so interesting today.